Welcome to your Beaufort County News Headlines. I'm Matt Golden and here are today's top stories. Beaufort County Veterans Affairs is partnering with The Connecting Point to host a free community event aimed at providing immediate service for homeless and at-risk veterans. The Spirit of Hope Stand Down event will take place on Friday, August 16th from 9 to 1 p.m. at the AMVETS Post 70 at 1831 Rebo Road in Port Royal. Food, clothing, and health screens will be available for those who attend. Referrals for health care, mental health, haircuts, employment, housing solutions, showers, and essential care and substance use treatment will be available as well. Transportation will be available at 8 a.m. from Walmart on Robert Smalls Parkway in Beaufort, Parker's Gas Station on Sea Island Parkway in St. Helena, Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park in Beaufort, and Lowe's on Robert Smalls Parkway in Beaufort. Beaufort County is dedicated to providing high quality services to its residents and enhancing the quality of life through strategic planning and development. The Capital Improvement Plan outlines the county's ongoing plans for infrastructure improvements and community enhancements. The fiscal year 2025 plan, now available online, serves as a guiding document for the county's development initiative. The Spanish Moss Trail is fully reopened ahead of schedule. This beloved trail provides a beautiful pathway for residents and visitors to enjoy the scenic beauty of Beaufort County. The new addition of the fishing platform enhances the experience for residents and visitors. Three new community centers funded by the American Rescue Plan Act are moving forward. These projects are currently out for bid, marking significant progress in enhancing community spaces. The demolition of the old Arthur Horn building is complete. A new parking lot is in the procurement process. Multiple bids have been received. Staff is reviewing bids for final approval. This will greatly improve access to the Beaufort County Government Complex on Revo Road. Beaufort Memorial Hospital is warning patients about a scam to trick them into giving up insurance and Medicare ID information. The con artists are using technology to make it seem like the call is coming from Beaufort Memorial, but it's not. It's a nefarious effort to get personal information like insurance ID numbers. What can crooks do with the insurance data? Scott Cook, Communications Director at South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs, says it's more of a matter of what they can't do with it. Information is just as good as money for these people, and a lot of times they can either sell that information or find ways to use that information for themselves so they may start applying for medical benefits or taking advantages of those services that you have and sending you the bill for things like that. Cook says scammers like this are clever. Say you get a call and sound a bit skeptical. These scammers often invite you to call back to verify who they say they are. Sounds good, except for one, not so minor detail. They're the ones giving you the number to call. As a result of the 2023 Beaufort County School District referendum, Ladies Island Middle School will be receiving a new replacement building that is expected to open at the start of the 2027-2029 school year. The new educational facility is being discussed during the first of many sessions being held Saturday, August 17th, according to an email communication from Kusaw Elementary School. The architectural firm Quackenbush Architects and Planners will be in the area to host three data collection and community input sessions that are open to the public, not just families who have students currently attending or plan to attend Ladies Island Middle School in the future. All voices are welcome, the email reads. The three sessions are being held at St. Helena Elementary School at 11 a.m. at the Media Center, at Ladies Island Elementary School at 2 p.m. in the Media Center, and at Kusaw Elementary School at 4 p.m. in the Media Center. For more information on any of these stories, please visit the sources on the screen. And as always, you can head to BeaufortCountySC.gov for press releases straight from Beaufort County. Thanks for tuning in to your Beaufort County News Headlines. Have a great day, Beaufort County.